with representation from all five continents. 16 teams in both the Thomas and the Uber Cups. Those 16 teams were divided into four groups of four. And over the first four days of competition, every country plays every other country within their group, with the top two teams then qualifying for the quarterfinal knockout stage, which takes place on Thursday, then the semi-finals on Friday before the Uber Cup final on Saturday and the Thomas Cup final on Sunday. So as I say, four groups, and these are the four groups in the Uber Cup. Uh, Japan are the number one seeds and Korea the number two seeds, which means for the first time since they first took part in the Uber Cup, China, the defending champions, are not one of the top two seeds. They are in Group B and it is a Group B decider, which is our feature tie this evening. Now this is a straight, okay, uh, right, well China's got the wrong flag, Chinese Taipei's got the wrong flag. Okay, here we go. So China, as you can see, uh, this is a straight playoff to determine who tops the group. China won both of their ties five love, while Chinese Taipei lost the first women's doubles against Spain, but then they beat Australia five love with an average match time for the five matches of just 25 minutes, 40 seconds. So here on court one today, we've already seen the number one seeds, Japan beat France in the Uber Cup, five love. It was then Japan in the Thomas Cup and like their compatriots in the Uber Cup, they beat England in group D by the margin of five love. This evening, we turn our attention back to the Uber Cup, the group B decider, the defending champions and the 15 time winners, China are up against Chinese Taipei. So the Chinese team in great form, and they really do have an incredible record at the Uber Cup. 18 finals from their previous 19 appearances. Chinese Taipei, who have the former world number one Tai Su Ying in their team, have already qualified, but the winner of this tie will get the seeded position. Well, we were hoping for a repeat of the Olympic final, but as you can see, no Tai Su Ying in tonight's lineup. But we do have the Olympic gold medalist, Chen Wu Fei, is up against Xu Wen Qi for Chinese Taipei. And then the women's doubles, the first women's doubles, and the two time and reigning world champions and Olympic silver medalists, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, up against Li Chia Sin and Teng Chung Sun. Then the second women's singles, the two-time world championship bronze medalist, the left-hander He Bing Xiao is up against Song Shou Yun for Chinese Taipei. Then the second women's doubles and the Olympic mixed doubles champion Huang Dongping has resurrected her partnership with Li Wenmei. Remember, they won the uh, deciding match at the last Uber Cup final, the fourth match, and therefore they regained the trophy. They're up against Chung and Li for Chinese Taipei. Then we finish with the third women's singles, Wang Shiyi, the winner of the recent Asia Championships in Manila. They are up, she's up against Chen Shu Wu for Chinese Taipei. So the first of our matches, Chen Wu Fei, the Olympic champion against Xu Wen Qi for Chinese Taipei.
welcome to the colourful and vibrant city of Bangkok. And we're here for the 2022 Total Energies BWF Thomas and Uber Cup Finals, the Men's and Women's World Team Championships. And it's all happening here at the Impact Arena in Nontabori in the northern suburbs of Bangkok. 32 teams from 19 different nations qualified for these championships with a representation from all five continents. 16 teams in both the Thomas and the Uber Cups. Those 16 teams were divided into four groups of four and over the first four days of competition every country plays every other country within their group with the top two teams then qualifying for the quarterfinal knockout stage, which take place on Thursday. Then it's the semi-finals on Friday before the Uber Cup final on Saturday and the Thomas Cup final on Sunday. Well, as far as the four groups are concerned in the Uber Cup, uh, Japan are the number one seeds and Korea the number two seeds, which means for the first time since they first took part in the Uber Cup, China, the defending champions, are not one of the top two seeds. They are in Group B and it's a Group B decider, which is our feature tie this evening. This is a straight playoff to determine who tops the group. China won both of their ties 5 love, while Chinese Taipei lost the first women's doubles against Spain and therefore only won 4 one but they then beat Australia five love well we've already had two sessions on court number one and uh, first thing this morning at nine o'clock the number one seeds Japan beat France in the Uber Cup and they won five love it was then Japan in the Thomas Cup and like their compatriots in the Uber Cup uh, they won without dropping a match in their tie against England this evening we turn our attention back to the Uber Cup and the Group B decider. The defending champions and 15-time winners China are up against Chinese Taipei. Well, this is the order of play and we were certainly hoping for a repeat of the Olympic final with our first match. But as you can see, no Tai Su Ying, the former world number one in the lineup. But we do have the Olympic champion Chen Wu Fei will start China off against Xu Wen Qi. Then it's the first women's doubles and Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, the two time and reigning world champions, to take on Li Chia Sin and Cheng Chung Sun. Then the second women's Versus singles and Herbie Bing Xiao, Chinese the left hand of the two time world ball. championship bronze when medalist, takes on the Sung Shu Yun. And then the second women's doubles. And this is a bit of a surprise. The Olympic mixed doubles champion Amaha. Wang Dong Ping resurrects her partnership with Li Wen Mei. So of course, he won the winning Jessica match Hadam in the last Uber Cup Myanmar. final for China to lift the trophy once more. They're up against Chung and Li. Then we finish with the third women's singles and Wang Shi Yi, winner of the recent Asia Uber Championships in Manila, the plays against Chen Shu Wu for Chinese Taipei. So that's the lineup and the Olympic champion Chen Wu Fei for China up against Xu Wenqi for Chinese Taipei. So the players already on court. And the first duty of the umpire will be the toss of the coin. And I can tell you that this will be a first meeting between these two pairs in senior badminton. They did meet in the World Junior Championships back Chen in Lima Black in 2015. Red. Red. Uh, but I think that's so long ago, I'm not sure we Black. can read anything into that. This side, serve, receive. Receive. So, uh, Xu Wenqi won the toss of the coin and chose to start the far side of the court. And what a 2021 uh, the player from Chinese Taipei had. Quite extraordinary. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Uh, but let's look, first of all, at the reigning Olympic champion, Chen Wufei, 24 years of age, born in Hangzhou, the capital of Xi'an province, the host city, supposedly, for this year's Asian Games. But, of course, the Asian Games has now been postponed. Currently number three in the world ranking, but did spend 13 weeks as world number one. She's making her third campaign at the Uber Cup. She played here in Bangkok four years ago, and then last year in Aarhus. 
She's won both of her matches. On Sunday, she beat the Australian Wendy Chen in two straight games. And then yesterday, against Clara Athamendi, uh, she needed to save three game points in that second game. She'd been 18-20 down. The a young Spaniard playing extremely well, pushing the Olympic champion all the way. So to her opponent, Xu Wenqi is 24 years of age, like her opponent, born in Taipei. And she's currently enjoying her second consecutive week at a career high of 58. Now, I said she had an incredible 2021. She played five tournaments. She was in five finals last year, winning four of them. She started this year with two final appearances as well. So she was in seven finals in seven tournaments played, winning five titles. Now, she on Sunday played against Spain, Rodriguez, the 18-year-old, the won in two straight games, just over half an hour for that. But even more impressive against the Australian, Luisa Mar. Ready to play. Mar. It was just 24 minutes for her victory, 21-9, 21-12. Cody Leach of the United States of America is our umpire for this one. And Jesper Larsen from Denmark, the service judge. Well, as far as Xu Wenqi is concerned, uh, because she hasn't played many tournaments on the world stage, she's had to play the lower tier tournaments, but my goodness me, she has made an impact. There's Chinese teammates. Oh, it's very vocal. Ladies and gentlemen, support. on my right, China, represented by Chen Yufei. And on my left, Chinese Taipei, represented by Wen Chi Su. Chinese Taipei to serve. Of all, play. So Chinese Taipei in the form of Xu Wenqi getting this first women's singles underway against the Olympic champion. She's found the line already. One, love. China fielding their strongest team. And perhaps you can question the second women's doubles, whether that's the strongest combination. I think that's subjective. But certainly their three singles players, I think, are the three in form at the moment. That's a beauty. Well, many badminton fans Two. probably won't have seen this young lady play before. But you don't go reaching seven finals in seven consecutive tournaments played without being extremely good, even if they are a lower tier of tournament in comparison to the HSBC BWF World Tour. Yeah, that's a lovely block. Service over. One, two. a little wild. Of course, on the world rankings, Xu Wenqi is only the third ranked player from Chinese Taipei. Tai Su Ying has just gone down last week, in fact, went down to number two from being number one. Pai Yu Po is the other top 50 ranked player. She's number 39 at the moment. I'm not quite sure why Pai Yu Po is not here in Bangkok. I assume injury woes. Service over. And if that's the case, we will wish her well for Three, a speedy recovery. Two. And I'm guessing Chinese Taipei felt it was a tall order to actually win this tie against the defending champions, China. And maybe a tactical move to save Tai Su Ying, the former world number one, the Olympic silver medalist, for the quarterfinal tie. Three. Oh. And that, indeed, would make a lot of sense. Because Chinese Taipei would love to get through to the semi-final stage. They've only managed that once. We know they're in the quarter-final. 
but they did reach the semi-final uh, back in 2006. Four, three. That's a good smash from Shu Wen Chi. Four, all. Beautiful, beautiful drop shot. Reverse Five, slice from four. this lady. Playing it straight, and it was the third shot in that rally played to the backhand net of Chen Fei. That's interesting. Maybe that's a specific tactic. That's another lovely drop. Yeah, that uh, drop was to the forehand side, so maybe I'm being a little premature in my Six, reading of the tactics. Four. That's found the line. That's Third a beauty. Number. Five, six. drop shot again we seven admire six. and marvel at the racket skills of the former world number one Tai Su Ying but it seems to me as if Xu Wen Chi has also got some lovely skills great deception Court smash pulled her opponent out of position. They opened up the other side for the second cross court smash. That's going wide. And long. Eight, seven. in position, Chen Fei. Eight, all. Fei did have the most incredible 2019 Nine, seven eight. titles in the calendar year.
Service over. Had a little think about it that stayed her side. And when I tell you that the seven titles won by Chen Yufei back in 2019 Nine. were oh. all World Tour events, and she created a new record. Previous record had been six Super Series or World Tour titles in a calendar year, and that record had been held by Tai Su Ying in 2018. Ten, nine. start to this first women's singles. Ah, look at the difference when she takes it early. Reaching up high, plus the jump. She's got the options then. And the extra jump means that she can create a more acute angle. So just one point in it, but the advantage nonetheless, 11-10. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. 11, 10, play. Just mistimed it. There was a big, big gap straight 12, down the line. Ten. That push from Chen Fei. Well, it had the desired effect, but I think the player from Taipei probably would have hoped to do more with it than that. Thirteen. Ten. Olympic champion. That's a great punch, clear. Service over. 11, 13. The disguise on the overhead shots from Xu Wenqi. 12, 13. I should just sort of turn that racket head at the last moment to play the reverse slice. Oh. And it's well left and back level. 13, all.
Oh, that's a magnificent shot. A hold and flick straight down the line. 14, 13. Chenu Fei dictating the pace. My and judge. Chu and Chi My judge. is having to do all My the problem. reacting. In the early stages, Shu was managing to control the rallies herself. And I suspect she might need to do that again if she's to win this opening game. Fifteen thirteen. couple of times from Chen Fei from that round the head position. Uh, it's a tight spinning net shot from Chen Fei. Forced the short lift and therefore the easy opportunity to play the winner. 17. Great net skill. No, we didn't see it. But look how short the lift was. Barely half court. Nice net shot again. Another short lift and another easy kill. 18. 30. Uh, she knew she had to try and make it tight because Chen Fei has been controlling 19, the net here at here in the last few rallies. And because of that front court control, she's been on a run of six straight points. to an end, not a moment too soon, as far as Xu Wen Chi is concerned. Symbols, tactics, and a lovely way to bring up game point opportunities for China.
That's a nice punch clear. So is that. Oh my goodness, what a good rally. Yeah, that's very, very good quality badminton. Fifteen, twenty. Yep. Changing. Longest rally so far. Save the first game point opportunity. But another five opportunities remain for Chen Fei to close out this opening game. They're hoping to rebound the shuttle off the attempted kill. Here we go. And I think it put off Xu Wenqi. That's why she made the error. But opening game. Yeah, she did well to reach this one. It was lovely controlled on the net shot. Yeah. Seeing her opponent wave that racket right in her vision can't have helped. 21 15. Opening game to Chen Fei of China in 18 minutes. Very interesting to me in that two-minute timeout. Neither coach spent awfully long with their player. Must be reasonably happy with the way they're playing. Play. And I think I would concur with that. Nothing there is glaringly obvious One. that needs to be Love. changed. I think that Xu Wenqi is going to struggle a little bit more to outmaneuver her opponents from this near side of the court because if you've been with us for the last couple of days I've been talking about the drift and the shuttle is flying faster going towards that far side of the court as we're looking down right now There's also a little bit of sideways drift from left to right that's a lovely net shot so much of the commanding of the rally in the early stages, Xu Wenqi. But it's not how you start, it's how you finish. That cross court clear from the Olympic champion was absolutely superb and changed the whole momentum of the rally. Look how late Xu Wenqi has to take that in a deep forehand corner. Two, one. Hasn't won a title yet this year. Chen Fei, two finals. German 300 and the Korea Masters 300. Just 
just wide. Oh, which is challenging. Chinese saw that just wide. I think the out. line judge got that right. But we'll wait for the instant review. Matters not what I think. remaining as I suspected it was wide three love play so we're just going back to those two finals the Chen and Fei has been in this year One, 2022 three. both super 300 events and the fun fact about her playing Super 300 events. She's played five in total since the World Tour started in 2018. And she's been in the final of all five Super 300 events she's played. Service over. That's quite remarkable. Four, one. Pushes Five. now Chen and Fei One. because she's hitting against the drift. And the more pace on those pushes is causing her opponents more and more problems. Oh, that's well taken. Very well taken. Six. One. Played Chen Fei, deep six. forehand. Well, that's good tactics. Well, it's a bit of a desperation shot, really, from Chen Fei. That was a little bit loose from Shu. Well, that one's gone wide. Three, six. Was more difficult to control forehand net. Technically, it's a more difficult shot than a backhand net. Just like backhand defence is technically Four, easier than forehand six. defence. One of the quirks of our sport. a tumbling net shot. Wait. No, I didn't have as much tumble as I first thought. Well, maybe should let it come out of the tumble. And there's that fast push that I was talking about a moment ago because she's hitting against the drift. Chen Fei can put more pace on that, and yet it still stays in. The more pace on the shuttle, the more difficult it is for this Seven, lady. Four. Had the options, came from above the shuttle, 
Great. racket carriage high Four. as she's coming forward to the net, Chen Ufei. Here she is, rackets up. Now she can play the block, she can play a push. She has all the options. If you come from underneath the shuttle, you can really only lift like there or block. Nine, four, change. So many more opportunities if you can take the shuttle early. Take the shuttle early. Short lift and then the opportunity to play the winner. Five, ten. So to the mid-game interval, interval with a six-point advantage in the Olympic champion Chen Ufei. It's nice movement, nice balance, isn't it, from Xu Wenqi. I certainly hope we see a lot more of her. Coaching chair, more copious notes being written, I can see. Eleven five play. because I had, had done some research on her and seen how well she'd been doing on the International Challenger and International Series events. And having now had the privilege of watching her closely in this match against Chen Yufei, I'm even more excited about her potential in world badminton got good skills, good movement. And once she's got her ranking high enough, I think we'll very much enjoy seeing her on the world tour. That's a lovely skill again. Good rally. Good change of tactics from Chen Yufei. First time I think we've really seen the body smash. Towards the left hip. Perfect placement. 13, 6. Play. 
Service over. Seven. Thirteen. Yeah, that's one of the problems with the cross court attacking shot when it's not good enough. This really didn't put any pressure on Chen Fei. And if they can read what's happening, it was a little bit flat. She was able to take it early. Look at that, too loopy. And then all Chen Fei has to do is play the straight block. 14, and seven. Shu Wenqi has the full diagonal of the court to scamper. That's the longest distance to run, and it takes the longest time. Oh, that's a beauty. Lovely, lovely shot. 15, 7. Chen Shen. as if it may have been a fraction long to me, but I'm certainly not in the best position to see that. Here we go, what does Hawkeye say? Yeah, good challenge. Very Correction. good challenge. Out. Service over. Eight fifteen. Play. Service she over. Has to keep her patience. Sixteen eight. And I appreciate that's extremely difficult. Most players playing against Chen Fei run out of patience because Chen Fei's court coverage and her retrieving is so good. Look how she stays on balance. Good punch clear, let's go wide. Yeah, that uh, just showing how effective a good attacking clear or punch 17, clear, as we eight. call it, how effective it can be. That was basically the winner. You don't always have to hit down to hit winners. Oh, indecision. Chen Fei get out of trouble there. Now back on balance, right back in the rally. Ah, that's a great net shot though Service from over. Xu Wenqi. Nine, 17. Look at that, that was a beautiful tumbling net shot. Took it early. Oh, 
has landed in. That's a great Service over. control of the shot, considering there's a diff from left to right. 18. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. Well, the drop shot from Chen Fei got the net court, and somehow Xu Wen Chi got it back and got it back with interest. That is remarkable. Take a look at this. Look how that gets deflected. How on earth did Xu manage to control that net shot? That's a little moment of magic. the short left. Good net play again from Xu Wenqi. deep enough, but it's still a very, very acute angle, isn't it, from Chen Fei? of this group decider on her first match point opportunity, Chen Fei. 21-15, 21-13 against 15, Xu Wenqi. 21-13. Here's the final rally. Cross-court net shot from Xu simply was too loose. Didn't put any pressure on her opponent. 41 minutes in total for the victory uh, for Chen Fei, And it means that China are one love up in the overall tie, the Group B decider. Well, coming up next, we've got the reigning and two-time world champions, Chen Ching Cheng and Sha Yi Fun, up against Li Chi Sin and uh, Teng Chun Sun.
So welcome back to the Impact Arena here in the northern suburbs of Bangkok. One match com completed in this Group B decider. Next up is the first ranked women's doubles. It's Chen Xing Chen and Jia Yi Fan, the Olympic silver medalists and two-time and reigning world champions up against Lia Chia Sin and Teng Chun Sun for Chinese Taipei. Well, obviously, Chinese pair overwhelming favourites for this. Uh, but when we get to look at the statistics for Li and Ting, do not be fooled by their world ranking, uh, which is uh, down at 242. That is because they've only played three tournaments together. And I can tell you that their three tournaments together, they've been in two finals. So in the start of their new partnership, and it's been a hugely successful start to the partnership as well. But here come the Ahokar. reigning world Mayan champions, Mizarro not only world Switzerland. champions, but also Sir reigning Asian champions. Won their second consecutive Bamberton Asia gold medal just recently in Manila. Beat Iwanaga and Nakanishi in the final. Lost the Olympic final in Tokyo to Gracia Poli and Apriani Rahayu. Not here at this event. I have to say that Gracia Poli has been here in Bangkok because she is the players' representative on the BWF, the Badminton World Federation, the governing body of our sport. So she's been busy with meetings all week. She's been busy with the making an appearance at the forum as well. So not surprising that this is the first meeting because I've just told you that Lee and Ting have only played three tournaments together and because their ranking isn't high enough, those have been uh, lower grade tournaments. One future series event, one international series event and one international challenger event. Future Series is the lowest tier of tournament on BWF tournaments. The left-hander is Ya Ja, ja, ja Fan, making her third campaign at a Uber Cup. She's played eight matches so far in this particular competition over her previous two before coming here and uh, she's played one match that was yesterday against Spain so she's now played nine matches won all nine matches uh, this lady Chen Ching Cheng her record in Uber Cup is even better because she's playing in her fourth campaign she's now played 12 matches and won all 12 that she's played first Uber Cup campaign for Chen Ching Cheng was in Kun Shan in 2016. Two titles this year for the Olympic silver medalists, the German Open and the Badminton Asia Championships. Not selected on Sunday against Australia, um, but the Corrales and Usle from Spain in yesterday's tie. So to Ting Chung Sun, it is her first Uber Cup campaign for the 21-year-old from New Taipei. She has been as high as 58 in the world rankings, but with a different partner. As I was telling you earlier, don't pay any attention to that current world Ready ranking of 242. Lee Chia Sin is going to turn 25 on Saturday, Uber Cup finals day. She was born in Taipei City and she has been a very good singles player in her time. She actually played against Australia with Su Ya Ching. So it was a different doubles combination, but they beat the Australians in just 25 minutes. 
So our court officials for this one from Switzerland and from Estonia. Peter Mazoros and Iris Metzbalu. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chinese Taipei, represented by Li Jiaxin and Dang Chunsun. And on my left, China, represented by Chen 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 and Jia Yifang. Chinese Taipei to serve, Li Jiaxin to Jia Yifang. Level, play. So the first women's doubles getting underway, and that wasn't the best of serves from Li Jiaxin. And that's, she's made amends, what a super shot. One, now, I was telling you that Lia Chesin has been a very fine singles player. There she is. Uh, reached 25 on the world ranking. Service and she came fourth at the Youth Olympic One, Games in oh. Nanjing in 2014. Oh. Lost her semi-final at those Youth Olympic Games to a certain Akane Yamaguchi, who of course is now the reigning world champion Two, in the women's one. singles discipline. rankings republished again One. earlier today and so for Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fun it's a 76th week that they are spending as world number Two, ones four. not consecutive weeks I hasten to add it's 76 weeks in total yeah, it's well played. She's got lovely, lovely skills, says Nietzsche Sin. Three, four. She's actually playing her first Uber Cup campaign. Oh. She was part of the team, Nietzsche Sin, back in 2016 in Kumshan, but she didn't get selected. Understandable, she was only a teenager at the time. Partner playing in her first Uber Cup campaign. Oh, indecision there from Jai Fan. Your opponents is a left hander. Uh, like the drive defense crouched down, down low, did Chen Chin Cheng drove the shuttle back. Momentum of the rally. Former world number 
one in mixed doubles as well, Chen Ching Cheng. That's when she was playing Zem with Sova. Chen Shi Wei. Dan, seven. advantage the reigning world champions and world number ones from China So the Chinese women's doubles coach, former Korean women's doubles seven, player, Kang Kyung Jin. Play. Oh, it's a good flick serve from Zhang Yifan. It up. You see, uh, when the shuffle skins the net like that and it starts to dip after it's crossed over the net, virtually impossible to play a good return of serve. And that's how Jai Fan was able to leap on the third shot. Yeah, another good serve, forcing Li Chia Sin to push the shuttle in an upward direction. And then you're immediately on the defensive. Last three rallies have all been won in three shots. Serve, return, and third shot. Now we're progressing past the three shots. Good to see. Well, this is eight straight points. Nine, seven before the mid-game interval. Skill. So is that. Yeah. Well, she hesitated on the previous one and decided to play it that time. Decided to leave it and it was the right decision. Nine, 
Indeed. Really just a, a case of trying to make the score line a little more respectable. And in doing so, get some ideas oh. for the start Sam of the second Silva. game. I think that's her second Nine series in. error. Nine. Twenty. Game, so game point, point opportunities. One opportunity goes a begging. Oh, that's an amazing shot from Lee Chia Sin. I said she'd got skills. That's wonderful. So is that. Well, if only they haven't lost those eight consecutive points, kept the scoreline tight all the way. of the match so far. Oh, she very nearly yeah. got it back. But well, nearly isn't good enough. 21-12 confirms the umpire. Excellent rally in the last of the opening game. Mm. A little over 11 minutes mm. for game number one, 21 12. I think one of the keys is the pair from Chinese Taipei, Li Chia Sin and Teng Chung Sun. have really got to try and think about what they're doing with the return of serve. Too often in that opening game, they were losing very, very quick rallies in the service situation. The returning serve and then the third shot was a winner from the world champions. 
That's good placement. That's exactly the problem no. that I've been Whoa. alluding to. It's a good serve this time from Chen Ching Cheng. Nothing on the return from Li Chia Sin. That's a much better return of serve. Yeah, yeah a totally different outcome to the rally. Same thing again. Serve return, third shot winner. You've got to get into the rallies. That's a nice defensive shot. wasn't punished by Ting Chung Sung. In fact, she tried to play that with the backhand grip on the defensive shot instead of the forehand. I know a lot of players do it, but trying to play it cross-court is extremely difficult. Easier to play cross-court if you're playing with the forehand action from that position. Uh, got deflected by the neck board. to work out where the pair from Chinese Taipei can really hurt the world champions. And it's a dilemma for an awful lot of pairs in world badminton. Not many pairs have figured that out. I think I'd try and get them out of their favoured formation. We haven't really seen Chen Ching Cheng being worked at the back of the court. through Chen Ching Cheng when she's standing at the front of the court. Oh. So she's been so a mixed doubles player four, in the past. Ten. She's got a very good reading of the game at the front of the court. And I think Shari Fan is the only player on court who hasn't made a service error now. Yeah. 
what a difference. Who were they working at the back of the court? Chen Ching Chen pushed her to the back, moved her from side to side. Make her work. There's moving her from side to side. She gives away the lift, and then they've got the opportunity. Oh, good attacking play. Good little spell by the pair from Taipei. A good hey. serve from Tim. Yeah. Well, five straight points, and all of a sudden it's very much believable again. Oh. Left handed Jai Yifan, definitely the stronger of the two Chinese players from the back of the court. And I don't think you can afford to really just keep lifting to her. She will find a way through, as indeed she did in that rally. So a three-point advantage for the two-time world champions. Chen Ching Chen and Zha Yi Fan here at the mid-game interval of the second game. So a game and 11 8 up the world number ones from China. the body towards the right hip of Lee Chia Sin. That's a much better return of serve. Short, yeah, got what it deserved. Service error. Seem to hold that for an age. Shall you fun? Oh, that's brilliant. Threaded it down the line. That's well. They're challenging that. I saw that as good. And I think the umpire a little lenient. Oh, I'm not so sure now. Wasn't really an instant challenge. That's. Let's see what Gorkai says. Yeah, 
know my first instincts challenge were correct. Not successful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 15, 9. Play. Was she thinking there? She started to move for it. It wasn't even close to being out, and then just seemed to stop. Shari Fan, most peculiar. Yeah, make some ends on the next rally. points with errors from the Chinese Taipei team. Yeah, across the body once again with the smash from Jai Fan across the body of Li Chia-Sin. Just two points away from giving China a two-love lead in the overall tie. Oh. Line judge, wipe the court, please. So, court will need to be mopped before the first of the nine opportunities for the reigning world champions to close out this women's doubles. First time of asking 21 12, 21 11, the margin of their victory. And the world number ones and the reigning world China, champions. 21 12, 21 showing us today why they have so many titles to their name. Very comprehensive performance. And their run of good form continues. So their confirmation, 21, 12, 21, 11 in a match lasting just 27 minutes. Well, coming up next is the second women's singles and Her Bing Xiao, the left-handed uh, player from China. Two-time World Championship bronze medalist is up against Song Shou Yun for Chinese Taipei.
Welcome back to the Impact Arena, the, the host venue for a second time. First four years ago of the Thomas and Uber Cup finals. So China lead to love in this group decider against Chinese Taipei. Next up is the second ranked women's singles encounter. Her Bing Xiao, the left-hander for China, up against Sheng Shu Young for Chinese Taipei. And after that, the second women's doubles, and then of course we finish with the third ranked the women's singles, and at the group stage, we play all five matches within the tie. Herbing Zhao, the left-hander, was fourth in the Olympic Games, twice a World Championship bronze medalist, and winner of two titles already this year. She's been in great form. So it is a tall order for Sung Shu Yun from Chinese Taipei. The third Uber Cup campaign for Herbing Zhao. There she is. Um, Played in uh, both the group of matches prior to this against Australia Serving and against Germany. Spain. Their opponents, Sung Shu Yun, wasn't selected yesterday against Australia, but had played her first ever Uber Cup match on Sunday against Spain. So this is the first meeting between these two players. Won the Sir. toss and chosen ends. And I think that's very sensible indeed. So the players will just move their kit bags to the opposite end of the court before the warm up period gets underway. And I hope the umpire does give them two minutes of warm up. And hasn't already started the clock. The two minute knockout period. Well, two minutes should really start from now, but whether that's the case or not, I don't know. So the left handed Herbing Zhao is 25 years of age, born in Suzhou, west of Shanghai in Jiangsu province. Has been as high as six on the world ranking, a total of 15 weeks across two different spells, but currently number nine. And her two titles this year, I was uh, telling you, she'd won two titles the German 300 event, where she beat Chenu Fei in the final, and also the Korean Masters, where she also beat the player who played at first singles. Well, as I was telling you, she's played both matches in the campaign so far. Second women's singles against Australia on Sunday against Louisa Mar. 20 minutes for that victory. And then yesterday beat Rodriguez. 21-2, 21-8 in 24 minutes. And so really giving a masterclass so far. Sung Shuo Yun is 24 years of age, born in Taoyuan, which is in the northwest of the island, neighboring Taipei City. And not the tallest of athletes, that's about five foot five and a half. 87 in the world ranking at the moment. So, as I was telling you, not selected yesterday against Australia, but did play, play against Spain on Sunday and beat Anya uh, Setien in two straight games. Our umpire, Jesper Larsen from Denmark, and the service judge is Cody Leach from America. Fourteen, 13. 
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, China, represented by Yiping Zhao. And on my left, Chinese Taipei, represented by Song Zhe Yun. Chinese Taipei to serve. Lavo, play. So, Song Zhe Yun from Chinese Taipei, far side of the court, getting this third match of the tie underway. Mm, that's a lovely One, start. Five. Coming forward at the right moment. Time shot there from Two, Irving Xiao. No. Mm -hmm. not happy with the court we've seen in earlier matches throughout the competition that the humid conditions here in Bangkok means that the perspiration on the court is very, very difficult for it to completely dry out. Even though the court attendants come on and yes. mop it up, so much humidity in the air doesn't really dry completely properly. Yep, that left to right drift, perhaps bringing that back in. Is telling you that she's won two world championship bronze medals for this lady. The first was in Nanjing in 2018, and the second was in December at the end of last year in Welva. And it was the first time in Welva for 10 years the Chinese players won two medals in the women's singles discipline at the World Championships. The other medalist was Zhang Yiman, who is not in today's lineup. Oh, she missed that as well. What an extraordinary start to this match. Who would have predicted this? Certainly not me. It's going wide as well. Seven, Delightful. And finally, Herbing Zhao gets on the scoreboard. Spin and tumble on that, making it impossible Two, for Song Shou Yun to control the return. Six, 
Service over. Eight, <laughs> two. It's a great return, but Herbing Hill left completely stranded. Oh, lucky that caught. Service over. spinning match on from the left hander that did the damage. Plays all three disciplines, does this young lady from Taipei. That's a rarity these days. I fear she won't have any joy with that challenge. Now, I'm not directly behind the courts. I'm at a slight angle. But to me, that looked as if it was clearly wide. Indeed, it was. Wasted challenge. Challenge unsuccessful. One Four. challenge remaining. Five, eight. Play. She's got to make it a tight net shot. If it's not tight, it's going to be severely punished. Uh, and it wasn't a million miles away from going over. And it goes long of the back line. Service over. Nine, seven. Ten, yeah. seven. Got to think about the drift as her being out. Hitting with the drift. Service over. Eight, ten. Well, the Olympic semi finalist, Herbin Jiao, lost out to the eventual gold medalist, Chen Yufei, and then lost the bronze medal playoff match to Kusana Benkata Sindhu. India, and that was Sindhu's second consecutive Olympic medal. Nine, eight. It's a most peculiar stance, isn't it, for this serve from the left-hander? So, with the lucky net court, it is Sung Shul Yun, who has a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval of this opening game. Yeah, perfection. But it was the seven-love lead that she raced to that was such a shock and surprise, I think. 
Uh, Bing Zhao perhaps not really focused at the start of the match. Nine minutes so far to the big game interval. of the clear from some shows gun. Oh, I challenge that one. No challenge Nine. from Sun, and I'm surprised about that. Over. 10, I doubt if the player from Chinese Taipei has played on a court with the instant review system previously. Maybe only here at this event. No, it's lovely. 11, 12. into the forehand corner of Herbing Xiao. And then there was a big, big gap straight down the line. And Herbing Xiao does use the clear into her opponent's forehand corner an awful lot, like here, because she wants the shot coming back to her forehand side being a left-hander. There's the lift into the forehand corner again, comes back to Herbing Xiao's forehand side. And that's exactly what she's wanting. 13, 12. So, for the first time, into the lead. Herbing Xiao in this match. Oh dear. Well, I do hope she's all right. She looked to me as if she did the full splits there. Just as well, he's. Oof! Her ankle went a little as well. Oh, I didn't like the look of that. Oh no, I didn't like that at all. Uh, look how. What an effort she made to get up and try and continue, but she'd lost her racket. Well, no lack of effort, that's for sure. But I do hope she's all right. 13. Just oh. shaking that left leg a little bit, and twiddling the ankle.
that, to me, was hesitation in movement because of what happened in the previous rally. She wasn't really fully committed with her movement. Look at this, she's just sort of, yeah, didn't get behind the shuttle, didn't trust that left leg, that left ankle. Good defence. Oh, it's gone wide. What a lovely skill Sir there Robert. from Sung Shou Yun. Hold and flick the shot at the last minute. That is very reminiscent of Tai Sung Yun, former world number one. Good. That's a lovely clear. Pulled up by the drift. Gosh, that must have been plumb on the line. Absolutely commanding the rally. Sung Shun Yun. They're making Herbing Zhao move to all four corners of the court and that final punch clear. But again, the problems, I think, for the left hander trying to change direction. If she's hurt her ankle, changing direction is going to be painful. Good. 16, 17. I think mm, taken it. That's a lovely block. Oh, I talked about that in one of the earlier matches. If you attack across courts, it's got to put your opponent under pressure. There wasn't enough bite or angle on that shot from Sung Shou Yun. And therefore, simple block from Herbing Zhao 
made the player from Chinese Taipei run the full diagonal as she simply wasn't quick enough. Seventeen all. Oh, that's perfection. What a 18, super 17. clear and control there from Herbin Chow. from a Chinese perspective because her opponent was backpedalling. It was the right shot to play tactically. The attempted net shot. Crucial. 19, 18. could sense the tension as the rally was in progress. They both realised the importance of that point. Challenge that. Yeah, yeah, indeed, she is challenging oh, her being she out. If she's wrong on this, she's game point down. Here we go. No, oh, the line judge was absolutely right, and indeed. So I'm sure you has two game point opportunities. Game point. turn up the opening game to Sun Shou Yun from Chinese Taipei against the two-time World Championship bronze medalist Herbing Zhao from China. Well, she got off to a fabulous start, did Sun Shou Yun. Race to a seven-love lead. And she takes the opening game 21 18 in 24 minutes.
Ampar, Komaru Laiya from Indonesia, Sylvester, Sydney Carlos from New Zealand, Second game, level, play. So what a sensation. Sung Shu Yun from Chinese Taipei taking the opening game against Her Bing Jiao of China. Pay previously. What a good strength in depth they have now coming up from Taipei in the women's singles discipline. Lovely skills, good movement. Certainly not overawed by the reputation of her opponent. That's landed Service in as well. Over. Two, one. made the error but there was definitely more of an attempt to have more angle and more bite on that cross-court shot I'd criticized a little bit in the opening game that some of those cross-court shots were a little too obvious and not sharp enough so she's maybe learned from that trying to correct it but in doing so made the error finals here in Bangkok I would have said that Her Bing Zhao was uh, one of the players in really showing incredible form Three, in the women's singles two. discipline but she's not managing to produce that here today at the moment still plenty of time rekindle the form that's taken her to two titles already this year So 
those are the clears and pushes down the forehand side of Sun Shou Yun. What I was talking about in the opening Three, game. Four. And that's clever play from the player from Chinese Taipei to play cross court because Herbing Xiao's tactics are definitely trying to get her opponent to play back to her forehand side. Here it is again. And once again, interestingly, Sun Shou Yun trying to go cross court from the deep forehand corner. It's a mind game, it's a game of chess. A tactical awareness. Positive rally from the left-hander. Jump smash, made a way forward. Look at that. Terrific athleticism. Yeah, absolutely wonderful follow-up. Six, five. And one. Here's the jump smash again. Looks to me as if Herbing Zhao is going to try and up the pace. Play more attacking game. It's a lovely block. Absolutely delightful. Cross court, very close to the net. Service over. That to me was nerves. Seven all. Oh. entered the match without giving her opponent enough respect. Obviously never played against each other previously. Probably wouldn't have known an awful lot about her. Play different circuits. Service over. Eight, seven.
Yeah. She's winning the net battle at the moment, is Sun Shu Yun. Guys on that block. Yep, and Herming Zhao is looking far from comfortable. Eight on. Smash down the forehand side and the finish off down the backhand side. Although it was earlier on in the rally that I think she did most of the damage, moving her opponent to the back, bringing her forward. Disguise, Ten. and that Eight. is also very reminiscent of Tai Su Ying. Eight. Threaded it down the line. Eight. And a three point advantage to Herbing Xiao here at the mid-game interval of the second game. Yeah, it's magnificent, isn't it? Body weight going back in court, but still control of the racket head to keep the shuttle straight down the line. This is far from over yet. One Play. feels that perhaps Herbing Xiao has settled into the match now, having been a little stunned in the early stages of the quality of her opponent. One sort of senses that maybe the left hander is just going to pile on the pressure from here. You just never know. That's a good punch, clear. Once again, Let's deceived by the punch clear. Left stranded. Nine. Irving Xiao. Yeah. 
it's over. That's she was 13, probably going to try nine. and play a little more aggressively, and that's another indication. Yeah, Rai smile, it wasn't the best of serves. Moore's got to think one shot ahead. If I serve there, if I serve that flick serve to the left-hander's forehand corner, what am I expecting? What am I hoping for in reply? Serve is over. 10-13. Definite signs that Herbin Jiao is trying to up the tempo, but she's not making in, in any inroads. This young lady is equal to it. 11 13. Look at that lovely angle. Myself, but if Sung Shu Young was to win this, it would make future selections in China's Uber Cup campaign in the women's singles discipline very, very interesting because Han Yue is in the team, part of the squad here, but she's been having a dreadful time lately by her own high standards. This second women's singles, her being Jiao, China would have regarded as one of their bankers, considering she's won two titles already this year, 13. beating the Olympic oh. champion in the final of both. Oh, this is absolutely fascinating. 13 all. To the lead, Sung Shu Yun. 14, 13. Oh, got the neck caught. Oh, yes. Played the cross court off her opponent's cross court. Yeah, that's a lovely round the head reverse slice from Herbing Xiao. 14. Oh. Well, oh, that have been five straight points for Sung Shu Yun. Xiao after that rally. She knows that was an important point. Look, there's a little clenched fist if we get to see it. Yeah, and a yell. Yeah, she's fighting for her life here, her being Xiao. Fighting for her place in the team. It's gone wide. Over 15. Oh. I have a feeling that the sideways drift is not nearly as bad as it was on the first day of competition on Sunday. 
I didn't think it was so bad yesterday either, but still a little bit of sideways drift. Yeah, Herbing Zhao really Zone trying to one. up the tempo in that rally. Six Flat eight, fast exchanges 50. looking to come forward. Look, look, she's moving forward after the drive, taking the shuttle early at the nets, and look again at the reaction. She knows she's in a real battle. now really fired 15. up celebrating every point she wins defense oh yes pace of short and pace of movement from her being shout getting the better of her opponent real aggression So three point advantage and just three points away from forcing a third and deciding game. away from taking his second 15. game. credit to her being Zhao because she was under severe pressure. 13, 14 down. Seven of the last eight points and now five game point opportunities to level this at one game apiece. One game all, 21-15, the second game. And we will be treated to a third and deciding game. Gosh, she had to work hard for that. 48 minutes into the match. And it's one game all. Okay, 
没有关系，先顶着，后面等下我们再长战术。OK， 脑袋清楚一点，可以靠。20 seconds. Cut one, 20 seconds. So what an absolutely fascinating encounter this is turning out to be. Top 10 player, Final Herb game. Bing Xiao. Level. Against play, Sung Shu Yun, currently ranked 87 in the world. deciding game oh that's brilliant that's brilliant <laughs> now when i was talking One, earlier in the match no. about some not having enough bite on the cross court shot that one from herbing Zhao is exactly what i mean it's got to be crisp it's got to have angle and it's got to be sharp and that sort of shot really does damage Strings go in Herbing Xiao's racket. Oh. Yeah, they did. Seven's over. One. Oh. Yeah, you can hear it. Different sound of the shuttle coming off the strings when the strings break. Well, this lady has won one a title in her career so far. That was the 2019 Norwegian yeah. International yeah. Series. It was her first title in her fourth final. She's actually now been in five finals in total. Last final was the Scottish International Challenger event of 2019. Well, One. the two years of the global pandemic and Chinese Taipei, most of their players have not been able to travel at all. But if they have, they've had to stay away from Taipei because the restrictions re-entering have been very strict indeed. And I think that... In all Three, honesty, from one. what I've seen so far today, the practice sessions back in Chinese Taipei with the women's singles players have been excellent. And I think the improvement and the quality of the two singles players that we've seen so far have been absolutely excellent. I think they're going to be a real threat on the world stage. Might prove to already be a threat right now. Service over. Two, three. Excellent. 
Oh, yes. Super Babington. Three, oh. That was much closer to the back line than I suspect she intended. It was definitely in. Yeah, looking to attack more and more. Good change Three. of attack, in my opinion. I mentioned at the start of this deciding game the angle cross court attacking shot, which she had played so well that time, going straight down the line. And that means that Sun Shou Yun has to uh, wait. She can't guess, she can't try and anticipate uh, too much which side the attacking shot's going to come. Service over for six. One of five straight points comes to an end. Well worked. That's a super rally. Good tactical awareness from some show young. Six. That's a good follow up. deep enough. Seven, five. Fell pretty much into the hitting zone of Herbing Xiao. Long. 
So one game all, seven all, as the match clock ticks over the hour mark. Oh, I've well, challenged that, yeah. Challenge, Challenge was immediate. Out. Well, it was called out the sideline. I thought that may have clipped the line. Certainly Herbing Zhao thought so. Here we go. What does Hawkeye say? No, it missed the line challenge by a fraction. One challenge remaining. Eight, seven. So it's three Play. straight points to go back into the lead. So I'm sure Yun. that shot. He played it well today. struggling con to control the drift, Herbing Xiao. Don't need a translator for that. Quite clear. Another one goes long. Eleven well, eight. Ends. three straight points to have a three-point advantage at the change of ends in the deciding game. And the advantage is with Sung Shou Yun. And Her Bing Jiao has an awful lot of work to do. And she's not to be the victim of one of the biggest upsets of this tournament so far. So this is crunch time. 11, 8, play. Missed it. Oh, that's a nervous looking shot to me. 12, 8. It's four straight points now. To Song Shou Yun. Oh, 
Service over. Nine, twelve. Nice idea on the execution. Court drive to really is a desperation shot. Here it comes. Kirvin uh, Jiao very alert to it. So just one point the deficit now. Well, a perfect net shot from Sun Chou Yun. 13-11. That's amazing. Take a look at this. Wow, look at that tumble. And it just crawled over. Perfection. Can't wait until we see Song Shou Young playing on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Deserves to be there now, but simply hasn't got a high enough ranking. Service over. 12, 14. Brilliant. Yeah. Good movement around the head position 13, and good 14. use of the body smash slightly across the body, aiming towards the right hip. Take a look at this big jump. Ah, that's perfection. That's perfect placement. This is a big point. Oh, my goodness, she's missed it. Service over. Would you believe it? Would have made that. Play. Uh, it was a fair amount of tumble on the net shot, though, from Sung Sho Young, and I think Her Bing Zhao actually hit the feathers first, which is why she had no control of the shot. Well, she's held her 16, nerve so far, has 13. the young lady from Chinese Taipei, Sung Shou Yun. A 
with a good tight spinning neck shot. That's a marvellous lift, though. Every point at this stage 16. of the match is so precious. Yep. And both players know it. Serve. Missed it. Uh, it was a nice idea going for angle and placement rather than power. In it. Back on Who's got the nerve? Who's got the belief? 15, 16. Play. body smashes we've seen from her. 17-15. There's no sign of fatigue with Sun Sho Young. Vicious, vicious net cord, badly deflecting the shuttle from Shang Shunyun. Herbing Zhao did awfully well to get it back. Look at that. It was supposed to be a lift and it ended up as a perfect net shot. actually got the top 18, of the tape. 16. Oh, it's all happening here. Oh, my goodness, what reactions. That was purely instinctive. I think she probably just 18. closed her eyes and swung the racket and okay. hoped, and it worked for her. Amazing.
huge point. Good, good play from Herbing Zhao. And she's back level. 18 all. One game all, 18 all. That was a lovely, lovely hold and flick from the net from the left-hander. Forehead. 18. Was that a, a loss of concentration? It was. Did she lose sight of the shuttle? Because that was a, a hideous attempt at a cross court net shot. No, she didn't lose sight of the shuttle. I think it was just Stop. complete Stop. loss of focus, maybe of patience as well. So into the lead at this crucial moment, Herbing Xiao. 1918 she's skipping about the court now tells herself to calm down one more point required, but it's a run of four straight points from 16, 18 down to now have two match point opportunities. Uh, Bing Zhao of China. asking on a run of five straight points from 16-18 adrift. She closes out the deciding game 21-18. The two-time world championship 18, bronze medalist. My goodness, she had to fight hard 15, for that. 21, but my goodness, 18. what a revelation Sung Shun Yun has been today. And she has taken one of the very best players in the world right to the brink. Amazing match. Final rally, the smash straight down the line. Both players sink to their knees. It's been a monumental effort by both of them. An hour and 18 minutes of pulsating badminton. And Herbing Zhao coming through 18 21, 21 15, 21 18 in the deciding game. Well, coming up next is the second women's doubles, Wang Dongping and Li Wen Mei up against Chen Chen Kui and Li Chia Chen.
welcome back to the Impact Arena here in Nontabori, northern suburbs of Bangkok. Well, what a thrilling women's singles we've just witnessed with her Bing Zhao coming with a run of five straight points to close out the match 21-18 in the deciding game against Sun Chun Yun. Well, next up is women's doubles, and it's the resurrection of the partnership that won the winning match in the last Juba Cup final. It's the Olympic mixed doubles champion Wang Dongping playing with Li Wenmei up against Chung Ching Hui and Li Chia Chen for Chinese Taipei. So, the two pairs, the tie has already been won in China's favor. They're three love up, of course. Uh, but Versus a certain amount Chinese of Taipei pride represented by Chang at stake here and for Li both Xi pairs. Zhe. And I can tell you it will be the first meeting between these two pairs. Ampa, Iris Miss Balu from Estonia. Service judge. Peter Mesaroch from Switzerland. So first meeting between the two pairs. Both the Chinese players vastly more experienced, especially Huang Dongping. Toss of the coin. Black, black, conducted red, by our uh, umpire, Iris Metzpelu of Estonia. Mazaros from Switzerland will be the surface judge. So, the Chinese pair have chosen ends. the Olympic mixed doubles champion Huang Dongping, 27 years of age from Meishan in Nanan City in Fujian province, has been as high as six on the world ranking, but that was with the now retired Li Yinhui. Former world number one in the mixed doubles, and Li when May usually plays nowadays with Du Yue. I'm not quite sure why it's been split up for this match, but perhaps they felt the experience of Wang Dongping was important. 22 years of age from Hubei province. And uh, they weren't selected as a pair because, as I was alluding to a moment ago, Li Wenmei has played with Du Yue in the first two matches against Australia on Sunday and then Spain yesterday, and they won both of those encounters. So to Li Chia Chen, she's 24 years of age, from Taipei, and she has a very famous sibling, her uh, brother, Li Yang, won the Olympic gold medal in the men's doubles with Wang Chi Lin. Her partner, Cheng Cheng Hui, will turn 26 next Tuesday, a week today, from the port city of Keelung near Taipei and please don't worry about that world ranking they've only played 
five tournaments towards their world ranking. So not realistic indication of their standard. Uh, they played against Spain on Sunday and they beat the two teenagers, Rodriguez and uh, Citiin, the left-handed 19-year-old. Two straight games weren't selected against Australia. And there's the umpire I was telling you about, Iris Mitzbalu, and the service judge from Switzerland. So all five matches of the tie will be contested. That won't happen from quarterfinals onwards from the knockout stage. But the tie is already decided, which means that China will have one of the seeded positions in the quarterfinal stage. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, China, represented by Huang Dongbing and Li Wenwei. And on my left, Chinese Taipei, represented by Zhang Jinghui and Li Qi Cheng. China to serve, Wang Dongbing to Zhang Jinghui. Lao play. Oh. Service over. One love. Silver, one, two. Aggressively, does this Chinese combination? Please. Selected for four matches in the last Uber Cup campaign, but only played twice because they were selected at second women's doubles pair. Uh, but the all important final against Japan. They played the fourth match, and in fact, it was the winning match for China because they beat Mizaki Matsutomo two. and uh, Nami Matsuyama in two thrilling games. And uh, that meant that China regained the Uber Cup trophy. anything loose at the front of the net to Huang Dongping all female mixed doubles players are exceptionally good at the front of the court
Yeah. Service over. Oh, three, Lovely six. Lovely change of pace from Li Chia Chin. Li Chia Chin, I should say. Oh, nicely done. Yeah. Well, the so early sober. indications are that Seven, the three. Chinese pair are a pace above their opponents. Play. Oh, what a pity. They've done all the hard work. Eight, three. I like that change of angle from Li Chia Chin. Ping. lady, Quang Dong Ping. And it's a, a very decisive start to this second women's doubles by the Chinese pet. It's a little over five minutes into the match. And they're already at the mid-game interval. Look at the dominance at the front of the court from Wang Dong Ping and the creativity. Rally, very good Five, rally. 11. And a little oh. smile from Wang Dong Ping. Well, the first time that Wang Dong Ping and Lee Win Mei played together was the 2017 China Super Series event in November. 
They have actually been in one tournament final together. That was 2018, with China 100 event. So it's not a completely scratch partnership, but I don't think I've seen Wang Dongping play doubles since the Denmark Open after the Thomas Muber Cup in Denmark last year. Amazing from the front court. Wang Dongping. 12, 7. Chinese bear are almost playing mixed doubles style. Wang Dongping is very much staying at the front of the court. Letting Li Wenmei do all the work from the back. Could be nasty. She seems to be okay. serve out wide just changing the angles brilliant so it's over 14 Nine. 
good angle. That's just a fraction wide, as though they want Hawkeye to have a look at that. It was mighty close. If that's clipped the line, it's a sensational shot. Certainly worth the challenge. One challenge remaining. Sixty nine. Play. Well, it was a drive serve more than a flick serve. And absolutely set up the rally. I think it was worth the attempt to try and intercept from Chung Ching Hui. difficult at the moment for the pair from Chinese Taipei to find the weaknesses in their opponents. Couple that with the strong attacking play from Huang Dongping and Li Wenmei. And the pair from Chinese Taipei have got real problems. Good flick. block, change the whole momentum of the rally. Oh. So the drop Game into the net nine. gifts game point opportunities to China here in the opening game of the second women's doubles. the court from Chang Ching Hui. No, that wasn't easy. Has gone long. Second time of asking and the opening game in favour of China, China in the form of ten. Wang Dongping and Li Wenmei. I think to try and keep the shuttle going in a downward direction, but that one just long. And 18 minutes for the first game, 21 10.
對對對。就比较难20 seconds. Well, the Chinese pair looking very relaxed at the moment, as well they might, having just taken the opening game so convincingly, 21-10. Second game. Love all. Good return of the flick serve. Got back well. Oh. Service over. Two, one. Just discussion between the two players from Chinese Taipei about the need to take it early. Yeah, I totally agree with them. That's a lovely shot. Three, four. Just tapping the shot into the mid-court area near the tram line. Past the front court player, but in front of the rear court player. So effective in doubles. to think about the drift. These two, they're with the drift at the moment, so pushes and lifts, you've got to be awfully careful on. Six, yeah, three. That early did me win, mate. Oh. 
So Good return sober. of serve. Four, six. And again, it's just tapped in a downward direction to the mid-court area. So silver. Trim in the tram lines. Seven, four. like that you've got to keep your opponents working for their points yeah. so right, in fact they kept the shuttle Five flat over the net eight. in that rally Chang and Lee Me. So silver. A little bit Nine, of luck there for five. Lee Wenmei. Yeah, she apologises for that. Sat on the top of the tape before tricking her over. long. Ten, five. Silver, Got six, what it deserved. The ten. lift was woefully short. Oh. So to the mid-game interval. Six, it's a five-point advantage in favour of Wang Dongping and Li Wenmei for China. A super so shot silver, from Li Chi Chin. Seven, Reaching out with the racket arm, taking it as early as possible and just guiding it across court.
Oh, that's well judged. Just wide. 13, 7. Best of serves, got what it deserved. 14, 8. thinking they should have done more with that that's the final miss shot but they had a golden opportunity with a short lift to play the winning smash but it was excellent defense from Lee Wenmei China cruising this women's doubles now well long of the back line Once more from the chair Chen. Nine sixteen. Oh, behind the back. Uh, in the end to no avail. Ten, sixteen. is creative is Wang Dongping. I know she didn't win that rally. Uh, there was some super angles. Oh, oh service oh. error. That's service a pity. Over. 17, oh, happy with that error from her partner. Yeah. And short. Yeah. This time she made more of the opportunity. Lee Cho Chen.
Kevin so Keane doesn't over. miss many of those. forward to the net, launching herself to play that backhand kill. Thank you. The delightful block, in she goes. Very loose shot from Cheng Ching Hui. 18, 13. But this is lovely movement. Nice block on the defence, immediately moves forward. points away from winning 13. this second women's doubles, China. Hey, hey. Oh, that's too flat, has gone well long of the back line, 20, and now it's match point match opportunities point. for China. 13. Game. Yeah, that's a good serve. But a tame way for the match to end. 21 10, 21 13. Match won by China. 21 10, 21 13. Now yeah, it's a very good serve. Serve dipping after it crosses, crosses over the net. And Chang Ching Hui unable to do anything with it. So victory for China in the second women's doubles for Wang Dongping and Li Wenmei. 36 minutes, 21-10, 21-13. So just one more match to come. It's the third women's singles. It's the winner of the recent Asia Championships in Manila, Wang Shi Yi, up against Chen Su Wu for Chinese Taipei. So just one more match to come in this group decider. And as you can see, China already have won the tie by virtue of winning the first four matches. 
the final match is the third women's singles. It's the Asian champion Wang Shi Yi up against Chen Su Wu for Chinese Taipei. So, a recent winner of the Asia Championships in Manila, Wang Shi Yi beating the world champion in the final, Akane Yamaguchi. There she is. So fresh from that uh, biggest win of her career. Had success at the Youth Olympics too in Buenos Aires in 2018. Here, her opponent, Chen Su Wu, making her first appearance at the Uber Cup this year, but this is her second match she played yesterday. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. But this is the first meeting between these two players. Black. Red? OK. Uh, umpire for this one, Cody Leach. Black. The United States of America. This side. Serve received. And Sir. Chen Shu Wu has won the toss of the coin and has chosen ends. and wants to start the more difficult end for singles players, hitting with the drift. Difficult to move your opponent to the back of the court if you keep hitting long. Whereas doubles players like hitting with the drift so that there's more potency to their attacking play. So the Asian champion, Wang Shi turned 22 last month. 171 is five foot seven, a born in Shaxi in Jingzhou, in Hubei province in central China. Uh, currently enjoying her second consecutive week at a career high of 15. And has been in 10 career finals winning eight of them, but the biggest uh, just a little over a week ago at those Asia Championships. Uh, she played against Australia on... Uh, uh, she didn't play against Australia on Sunday. She played against Spain yesterday. Third women's singles beat Anya City in the left-hander. 21-10, 21-6, so very convincing indeed. Chen Shu Wu is 24 years of age from Taichung City, uh, west of central region of the island, second most populous city. And as you can see, she did not play, play on Sunday against Spain, but did play yesterday against Tiffany Ho. One in under 30 minutes, 21-12, 21-13. So as I was telling you, Cody Leach, uh, umpire for this one. Uh, Jesper Larsen of Denmark is the service judge. Chinese Taipei, represented by Chen Su Yu. And on my left, China, represented by Wang Jin Yi. China to serve, love all, play. So the Asian champion, Wang Shi Yi, far side of the court, getting this fifth match of the time One, underway. Love. Mm -hmm. 
tallest of the Chinese Taipei women's singles players, Chen Shu Wu. Five foot eight. Or if you prefer metric, 173. Looks perhaps a Three. little bit nervous to me Love. at the moment, Cheng Shu. She's been in two career two, finals as four. this lady, and remarkably, both at the same event, the Vietnam International Series event. Lost in the final in 2015, and then won the title a year later. Has been inside the top 50 of the world ranking. Flick over her head. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Service over. been singing the praises of the first two singles players from Chinese Taipei in today's encounter. Three, Xu five. Xu and Sung Xu Yun. Got great racket skills. And this player also seems to have very, very good racket skills. Serve a little bit of trickery. Challenging. Chinese Taipei challenges call out. I think the line judge got that right.
no, line judge didn't get it right. That's Correction. a great challenge. In. Service over. Five, seven, play. Six, seven. Well, it's been a long while since this lady for last played international competition. It was the 2019 Scottish International Challenger event. November 2019, hasn't played since. Service over. An individual competition. Eight, six. No tournaments throughout the global pandemic. Out. Service over. Seven, eight. It's interesting, going back a year, Wang Shiyi from China was selected to play all three group matches in China's Uber Cup campaign while they rested Chen Fei. That wasn't selected at all, that's just wide, uh, for Service the knockout over. stage. Eight, nine. Didn't miss by much. Oh, that's lovely. Service over. Just inside Ten. the line. Eight. Watch how it's sort of a rebound action with the racket head. Clips over the top of the shuttle. No real follow through. So to 11, the big game eight. interval with a three-point advantage, the Asian champion, Wang Shiyi. And that was a nice idea from Cheng. And just overdid it. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. 11, eight, play. Should up the pace of that rally quite considerably. Well, this lady won't see. She gets caught a lot with the pushes, flat pushes down her backhand side. Chen. Service over.
nine, 12. Service over. Oh. 13, nine. I do like the way that the players from Chinese Taipei try to be creative. Oh. Yeah. Uh, there's another error there, but 14, the fact that she pl tried to nine. play a deceptive uh, net shot on the return of serve, I like the idea. I need to work on consistency. But if a player doesn't have the skills and doesn't have the ideas in the first place, it's just virtually impossible to teach them later on in life. Service over. Ten, 14. See when that creativity works like that in that rally. Jane. Chen Shu Hu. Backhand net. And then the slice down the forehand side. 11. 14. Over. What a pity. 15, After the good work 11. of the previous rally. Soft point. Error on serve. First of the match. That's one service error apiece now. a super drop shot. Service over. Well. 12-16. Tai Su Ying and her style of play has obviously been a huge influence on the next generation of women singles players from Chinese Taipei. And that in itself is very exciting. Service over. Because the adventurous, wonderful style of the 17, former world number one and Olympic 12. silver medalist Tai Su Ying is just a joy to watch. Uh, we've got a whole new generation of players playing that way. I think that's very exciting. Oh, look at that. You see, I Service talked over. about it a moment ago. If you've got the creativity, 13, if you've got the mindset, 17. And if you've got the skills, they may not work every time. But when they do work, it's world class. Fantastic shot. Fourteen, seventeen. Change. There it is again. Well, not the same shot, but there's the creativity. 15, 17. Yeah. Oh. 
totally unexpected, played with disguise, and the Asian champion left stranded. Oh yes, well played. When she She's getting caught 19, in her deep 50. backhand corner once more. As soon as she turns to play the backhand, she's in trouble. She must have been caught at least four times with that in this opening game. Yeah, much better to play around the head. Service over. 16, 19. Some steepness of smash 16. causing the problems there. Yeah, it wasn't awfully deep, the clear, was it, from Chen? So, game point opportunities for China and Wang Shi Yi. Landed in and the opening game 21 game 16 China. 21 in favor 16. of China and Wang Shiyi. Held up by the drift. Oh, yeah, did land in. Oh, that would have been worth a challenge. I think it did just clip the line though. So 18 minutes for the opening game, 21-16. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. So she looked pretty comfortable in the opening game, did this lady, Wang Shiyi. 
Second always game. felt she could, Love if all. needed, go to a higher Play. gear. 21-16, the opening game. But uh, there is no doubt in my mind that Cheng Shu Wu has good potential. Chen Shu, looking back at Chen. some of her previous results, she's gone the full distance with her Bing Xiao, who played the second women's singles for China. And that was back at the Singapore Super Series event of 2017. Also beaten Denmark's best player, Mia Blickfeld. So, she's got some good results under her belt. Hasn't really oh. played too many of the world. Oh. Played too many of the world. Lower at the rate. Well, two events. Smash. That's found the line. Three. What? by the punch clear. We've seen that from the other women's singles players from Chinese Taipei. I think it's an, such an effective shot in women's singles. I remember when Usana Vincata Sindhu won the world title in Basel in 2019. Oof, well retrieved. Uh, Three, I think it was the punch four. clear that uh, won that final for the Indian. And I think it's a very underestimated shot in women's singles. A good punch clear, played with deception. Can cause a huge amount of problems for opponents. Yeah, that's lovely. Good control. Four. Oh. Change. That's a pity, that's just long. Uh, Service over. Little hold Five. and flick. There was virtually no oh. backswing of the racket there on the backhand side from Chen Shu Wu. Service over. Six. Five. That's a second service error. All. Oh. 
seven, six. Eight. That's a gift. Six. Go on to make your opponents play the shuttle. on the shuttle there. Racket head still comes through very quickly because you're giving the shuttle a glancing blow. And the slice across the feathers of the shuttle makes the shuttle spin even more. And the more the shuttle is spinning, the more air resistance is built up and therefore the shuttle dies a lot quicker. Hence Seven, you create a, a more acute angle. consistent with these skills and she really could be a, a real force to be reckoned with. Oh, that's nicely done from Service over. And she e 11, and she goes eight. to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage, which is exactly the same scoreline and advantage she had in the opening game. Well, this is unusual. Coach Law Yigang from China. They're using all of his allotted time in that mid-game interval 11, break. Eight. Usually he just gives one Play. or maybe two pointers to his player and then returns to his seat. Turn of serve. Service over. Nine. Twelve.
Oh, she's missed it. There was a Service huge over. gap. All she really 13. needed to get it Nine. was over and in into that front backhand corner of her opponent, and it would have been a winner. Didn't have to be that accurate. Fourteen, nine. over 10 14 the last match for today on court two Uber Kaku City the third single Thailand represented by Busan and Viva Mumbai Yeah. Yeah. Lovely smooth movement back in court from this lady. Get behind the shuttle to play that winning smash. Watch this movement. Isn't that smooth? Lovely. Shot again. Sixteen ten. Gets caught in that backhand deep corner too often for my liking. Chen Shu got to do something about that. Oh, my goodness me, that crawled over. How did that go over? 17, it seemed to crawl 10. up the net and then went over. Yeah, it did crawl up the net before going over. Look at that. Extraordinary. Service over. Well, 11, 17. Now or never, as far as... Chen Shu is concerned. Got to get a little run of points right now. Yeah, well played. 12, 17, change. Pushed it wide. Service over. 18, 12. Oh, Service over. Did she change her mind there? 13, 18. Almost seemed to catch the shuttle on her racket rather than play a net shot. Let's have a look at that. Oh, it was a double hit. I think she changed her mind. Oh, my goodness. Well, a lucky net called from Chen, but... 18. Deserved to win the rally after that very, very loose shot from... Look at that. What, what on earth was she thinking? Well, if that was supposed to be a cross-court net shot... 15. 18.
Yeah, well taken. Well, well, well. This Wait isn't over yet, you know. Good comeback. Four straight points for Chen Shu Wu. Yeah, right there. Good, thank you. So now, just two points the deficit. Oh, my goodness gracious. Something's happened to her. I don't know if she's having a dizzy spell or something, but from 18-12, she's almost caught the shuttle on a racket trying to play 18. a net shot. There's one here complete mistimed, and it's gone under the net. Trying to play a cross-court net shot that was just woeful. And she's back level. Six straight points for Chen Shu Wu. This is absolutely amazing. 18. Well, I said it was now or never. And she's decided it's now. Good for her. Eighteen all. Oh, service error. It's a third service error of this match. And 18. that could prove very, very costly. Oh, another error on the return of serve after a match service point. error. That's two 18. gifted points, and now it's two match point opportunities for China. Well saved. Server's over. 19, 20. Finds the line. She's challenging. Chinese Taipei challenges for in. Well, if it did clip the line, it's the end of the match and end of the tie. Wang Shiyi seems pretty confident she hit the line. Indeed she did. Plum on the line. So that's the match. 21-16, 21-19. Uh, but what a great fight back Match one by, by Chen China. Wu. in the end to no avail. But I have been impressed with all three women's singles players this evening from Chinese Taipei. My initial reaction, yeah, that clipped the line, certainly. My initial reaction when I saw the line up that there was no former world number one Tai Su Ying, I felt a little disappointed. I haven't been disappointed at all. In fact, quite the opposite. I think the three singles players on show today from Chinese Taipei have been a revelation. But there is confirmation that Wang Shi Yi has won the fifth match of the Thai 21-16. 21-19. Just about 40 minutes for that last match. So, five love uh, clean sweep for China, the defending champions against Chinese Taipei in this Group B decider. The Olympic champion got things off very well indeed, beating Xu Wenqi. 
in two straight games. The reigning and two-time world champions Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, too good for Li and Ting. And then it was the match of the day, the second women's singles, Herbing Zhao, the left-hander, who has won two world championship bronze medalists, uh, medals, had to come from a game down. And uh, in fact, from 16-18 down in the deciding game, a run of five straight points to close out that thriller in an hour and 18 minutes. Wang Dongping and Li Wenmei, who won the uh, winning match in the last Uber Cup final, are back together again. And uh, they were in extremely good form, only 36 minutes for that match. And as we've just seen in the third women's singles, Wang Shiyi, the Asian champion, uh, too good for Chen Su Wu. So tomorrow is the last of the group matches, the group deciders. And here on court number one, we start at nine o'clock in the morning with the number one seeds and the 2018 Uber Cup winners, Japan against Indonesia. Then at 2 p.m., it's the Thomas Cup Group A decider, Indonesia, the defending champions against Korea. Then at 7 p.m., we stay with Thomas Cup, the Group B decider, the 2016 winners, Denmark, against the 2018 winners, China. It should be a great day of action. I'm looking forward to it already. In the meantime, from all of us here, especially from me, Jill Clark, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.